Hello, and welcome to the Haas Tip of the Day. My name is Mark, and right now I am doing two things at once. I'm talking with you, and at the same time, the lathe behind me, with the use of a bar puller, is making parts. A lot of parts. Well, I went and got some coffee, you listened to our theme song, and our lathe made a few more parts. Now the benefits of using a bar puller are obvious. It allows me to walk away from my machine for maybe 30 minutes at a time to attend to other projects, while my Haas lathe continues to pay for itself. Now we don't sell bar pullers, we sell machine tools, but we want you to succeed and to get the most out of your Haas machine. So right now we're going to show you how to use this effective tool. Now our bar puller is basically a gripper that we've mounted onto the turret. Now you command it just like any other tool, and we've commanded ours to come in just above the bar, and then using a G1, we fed it down onto the stock with the spindle stopped using an M5 command. From there, we'll use an M11 to open up the chuck. Then we'll dwell for about a second, making sure that the chuck has enough time to open fully before we pull that bar out. Now in my code, I've used a G1 W1.07. On lays, when we want to move the X, the Y, or the Z axis incrementally, we'll command a U, a V, or a W. Now, I've used a W1.07, which is going to move my Z axis in the positive direction from where it sits, 1.07 inches. Now, something to remember is that typically, our X and our U values are in diameter. From there, once our bar has been pulled, we're going to close that chuck using an M10 command, and then dwell for about a second, making sure that the chuck has plenty of time to close before we program that tool up and out of the way. Now, if you press the cycle start button during your setup and get a message that says chuck unclamped, you may have to turn on parameter 278 bit eight, chuck open C start. You'll get that warning message if cycle start is pressed while the chuck is open. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. I've written my part program, we've written our bar puller program, and at the bottom of my program, I've changed it from an M30 to an M99, so it runs more than one part. But how many parts are we gonna run? We have to have the program stop at some point once a part limit has been reached. We're gonna show you three quick methods to do that now. Now with this method, we've added a counter to our program. Pound 100 equals pound 100 plus one. Each time a part is run, it adds one to our part counter. Now if I load a new bar, I can go to the macro variables page and zero out variable 100. Now there are quite a few codes that can block look ahead. The forward slash block delete is one of those. We've added it here because we don't want our part counter to increment before the program has reached this exact line of code. It's just a macro trick that we use. I'm running a 48 inch bar and we want our program to stop once we've reached 44 pieces. That's what this line of code is gonna do for us. This is macros 101. If the expression within the brackets evaluates to true, then run this code. We're gonna fill those codes in right now. If pound 100, our parts counter, is greater than or equal to 44 by part limit, then M30, stop running. Now if my part counter is less than 44, it's not gonna execute my M30, it's just gonna continue on with my program until we finally reach that part limit. With this second method, we're still gonna use our if-then statement, but we're gonna get rid of our counter. This is because the Haas control already has a built-in M30 counter and it's tied to macro variable 3901. Now we've already made an entire tip of the day video using variable 3901 and talking about our M30 counters. So be sure to check it out. Well, now with a single line of code, we're saying if our M30 counter is greater than or equal to 44, then stop running parts. And of course, if our M30 counter is less than 44, then keep running parts until our part limit of 44 is reached. Now for this last example, we're gonna use an M97 internal subroutine. M97, call my internal subroutine P1. The P1 refers to line N1. The sub is everything in between the N1 and my M99. 
it's going to run this subroutine 44 times. It's pretty straightforward. It's a good way to program a bar puller. I prefer the macro method just because if reset is pressed during this program, you're going to lose track of how many parts you've run and you'll be changing your L value all day. With the M30 counter or even our pound 100 counter, if reset is pressed or you start and stop your program, your part count is still good. Now, as we finish up, we'd like to leave you with three important tips. First off, be sure to follow the instructions that came with your bar puller. Each bar puller is different. Number two, be sure to support your stock in your spindle. We use the patented Haas spindle liners for this, which support the bar across the entire length of the spindle. Now, this gives us the added benefit of being able to run much longer bars. And if you're using a bar puller, that means you can walk away from your machine for a much longer time. And finally, and most important, never let your stock hang out the back of your spindle. Nothing good can happen. Now, if you're doing a lot of setups or running any kind of production, it wouldn't take long for a Haas bar feeder to pay for itself. With its large capacity bar magazine and software that's fully integrated with your Haas lathe, the machine can run unattended with the operator just stopping by to check on his parts and load new bars, all while the machine is running. Well, that's it for today's tip of the day. Be sure to click on the link at the end of this video for today's bonus content. Now that's gonna include the programs that we used. It's gonna to link to that M30 counter video we talked about, maybe even our spindle liner page, and it's gonna give you a chance to subscribe to this channel so you can see more of these tip of the day videos. Thanks for letting Haas be a part of your success and for watching this Haas tip of the day.